When I speak to people, there are a few common blockers that stop them from getting involved with video. It's different for everyone, but roughly everybody has the same sorts of problems. And as an executive coach, you're probably self-aware as to what it is that's causing your problems. The main things that I come to are anxiety and imposter syndrome being rolled into one, but they are very separate issues, let's be honest. People are afraid to be on camera. We don't like being on camera. We don't, we're not programmed to like seeing ourselves on video. It's not natural. I still hate seeing myself on camera, still hate the sound of my voice. That doesn't mean it doesn't drive results. You've got time. Time's very precious to all of us. And a lot of people who've become executive coaches haven't done it to become busy. They've done it to charge a premium for their services, cut down on the amount of work each week that they do so that they can spend time on other activities like being with their family, hobbies, volunteering, whatever that looks like for you. So you wanna cut down on your time and get that made more efficient. Technology. Not everybody's technologically literate. And let's be honest, tools are changing so rapidly all the time. Unless you're using the tools over and over again repeatedly, it can be a challenge to keep up with them. And I can't count the amount of times each week I send a message to my close network and tell them how much I can hate technology. It's the same for me as it is for everyone else. My job is to take that off my client's shoulders, burden that myself and deal with it. But I understand why technology can be a huge problem for people. Efficiency. If you're not trying all the latest tools on the market, looking at new workflows, spending time thinking about how you can be efficient and strategic with the content that you create, it can feel like a chore and it almost turns into a full-time job. Let's be honest, none of us, barring me, got into the business that we're in to create video, to create social media posts, to be a content marketer. We didn't do it. We did it to help people in a specific way. And that's what drives us, that's our why. And everything else that's not part of that becomes a blocker, becomes something we procrastinate about, becomes a rock that we have to break down and a frog that we have to eat. But if you do it, you will separate yourself from everybody else who feels the same way. So it is worth the effort. Honestly, I can't stress that enough. And the other thing that comes to is just not enjoying it. We've touched on it already, but if it's not fun, we're not gonna do it. And my advice would be in that space is you need to be creating content that you enjoy because I love sharing content to help people. I don't enjoy being on video, I enjoy helping people. And with that in mind, I can change my mindset, reframe things a little bit, and I actually do enjoy creating the video because I know the impact and I see the impact it has on my network and the people who maybe don't want to use my services but benefit massively from the advice that I share with everyone. That covers the majority of the reasons why we don't do video. Uh, and to come back to anxiety and imposter syndrome, I think they're worth a video all on their own, if I'm honest, because a lot of people, especially female business owners, struggle with anxiety and, and imposter syndrome. And whilst anxiety can be reframed, imposter syndrome is something I don't think a lot of us really get rid of without working with a coach. But there are some tips and tricks that we can use to reframe it positively that work for the better. I'll share those in an upcoming video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.